This data set contains the health insurance premiums for 36 people who were in their late 20s in 2014. You can check out the previous video on how to construct a frequency distribution table for group data. We're going to calculate the cumulative frequency and the cumulative relative frequency. The cumulative frequency for each class is simply the frequency for a class plus all the frequencies for every class before it. For the first class, the frequency is 10, and there are no other classes before it. So, the cumulative frequency is 10. But, for the second class, the frequency is 13, plus all the frequencies for every class before it. So, the cumulative frequency is 13 plus 10, equals 23. And for the third class, the frequency is 9, plus all the frequencies for every class before it. So the cumulative frequency is 9 plus 13 plus 10, which is 9 plus 23 equals 32. Now, the cumulative relative frequency can be calculated by simply taking the cumulative frequency for each class and divided by the total frequency. So, for the first class, the CRF is 10 divided by 36 equals 0 0.28. And for the second class, the CRF is 23 divided by 36 equals 0 0.64. A cumulative relative frequency of 0 0.89 for the third class means that 89% of the data points are in the third class and every class before it. In other words, 89% of the health insurance premiums paid by people in the late 20s in 2014 were, at most, $219.